My name is Dave. I'm from Wisconsin, and I've always been an independent, but up until recent years have always leaned Republican. I've never voted for a Democrat for president. Um, I voted third party in 2016. Uh, I could not get behind a person who insults and calls names. Uh, that's not appropriate adult behavior, let alone presidential. Uh, he said some things that really disturbed me. Uh, his attacks on Muslims, for example, uh, they uh, they have the First Amendment right to freedom of religion, uh, just like everyone else. I served with Muslims in the Marine Corps. I've studied with Muslims. I've worked with Muslims and found most of them to be very fine people. Uh, I defended my third party vote by saying that he was elected president, not king, and he will be held in check by the Constitution. That hasn't been the case. He's worked around the Constitution. Uh, declaring national emergencies to uh, to bypass Congress and uh, get funding for his wall, uh, even though the, the Constitution is very clear that Congress appropriates money and uh, and it can only be taken from the Treasury with appropriation from Congress. Uh, if there is an extraordinary occasion, using the terms from the Constitution, and Congress is not in session, the President can call them into session, not declare national emergency. That's too much power for one person to have. Uh, he has done that again now with unemployment aid. He uh, has levied tariffs, another responsibility of Congress, not the president. He has continued Obama's illegal use of military force in Syria and Yemen, and now also Iranian targets in Iraq, even though Congress has not authorized it. When Congress tried to tell him no, he vetoed it. That's not how it's supposed to work. He needs their authorization. Uh, he has uh, violated the emoluments clauses. Uh, foreign and state officials stay at his businesses. He makes money off of it. Um, when confronted with that, he actually called the emoluments clause, part of the Constitution, phony. He also funnels taxpayer money into his businesses. Uh, every time he goes to one of his golf courses or resorts, all the support personnel, they all go there. They all spend money on food, lodging, golf, and whatever else. Uh, he has removed officers of the United States who were uh, approved by the Senate. Uh, Alexander Hamilton wrote a Federalist paper saying that uh, it's implied that he did not have that authority uh, without approval from the Senate. Uh, it was later decided that he does, but in the debate, James Madison stated that any president who wantonly removes honorable men from office will be impeached. And he has removed plenty of honorable men from office. Uh, he has supported traitors who, according to the Constitution, levy war against the United States or uh, it offer uh, comfort and aid to its enemies. He cleared out peaceful protesters for a photo op. They were exercising their First Amendment rights. He has violated the spirit of the Second Amendment by wanting to use the military to uh, maintain law and order. The Second Amendment is there to prevent the government from raising a standing army large enough to threaten uh, Americans. Uh, his, on a personal note, his attacks on legal immigration have affected me. My wife is an immigrant, a green card holder, and since he has taken over, uh, processing times and fees have pretty much doubled, making a long, expensive, complicated process even worse. Uh, when I joined the Marine Corps on December 21st, 2001, I swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that is why on November 3rd, I will be voting for Joe Biden.